Hello and welcome back to another lecture. To use Flyway to migrate data into an RDS instance in the private subnet, you need two security groups. The first security group you need is the SSH security group, and this is the security group we will attach to the Bastion host. On this security group, you will open port 22 from your IP address. The second security group you need is the database security group, and this is the security group you will attach to the RDS database. On this security group, you will open the port for your RDS database engine. For example, in this project, the database engine for our RDS instance is MySQL. So we will open port 3306 and we will only allow traffic from this port if that traffic is coming from the Bastion host security group. To create the two security groups we need for this project, in the management console, type VPC in the search box and select VPC under services. On the VPC dashboard, first let's filter by our VPC. Under filter by VPC, select this drop down and select your VPC. Once you've select your VPC, scroll down. Under security, select security groups. Then click create security group. Give the security group a name and we will call the first security group Bastion Host Security Group. Once you've given the security group a name, we will use the same name as the description. Once you've entered the description, under VPC, remove the default VPC by clicking the X button, then select your VPC. Once you've selected your VPC, scroll down. Under Inbound Rules, click Add Rule. Under Type, select this drop down and look for SSH. SSH is here, I'll select it. Once you've selected SSH, under Source, select this drop down and select My IP. For security best practice, anytime you open SSH port, always make sure you limit it to your IP address. Once you have added an inbound rule for SSH and you have limited to your IP address, scroll down and click Create Security Group. There you go. We have successfully created the Bastion Host Security Group. And on this security group, we open port 22 and we limit it to our IP address. The next security group we will create is the Database Security Group. Select Security Groups up here. Then click Create Security Group. Give the security group a name and call it Database Security Group. Once you've given the security group a name, we will use the same name for the description. Once you've entered the description, under VPC, click this X button to remove the default VPC and select your VPC. Then scroll down. Under Inbound Rules, click Add Rule. For the Inbound Rule, under Type, leave it on Custom TCP. And for the Port Range, we will enter the port for our database engine. For this project, we are using MySQL, so I'm going to enter 3306. MySQL works on port 3306. Once you have entered the port for your database engine, under Source, click in here, then scroll down to Security Groups. Under Security Groups, select the Bastion Host Security Group you created previously. So what this means is, when traffic is coming from port 3306, we will only allow that traffic if it is coming from the Bastion Host. Once you have entered this inbound rule, scroll down and click Create Security Group. There you go, we have successfully created the database security group. And on this security group, we opened the port for our database engine and we limited the traffic to the Bastion host. If you have any questions on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.